hello guys welcome back to weekend tips and in today's video i will show you how to get more impressions that actually leads to more clicks and more orders on your fiverr gig so um with the last six months i opened my fiverr gig and my account i've got that up to like um let's say three thousand impressions and up to like um 12 up to like 24 view um clicks and three others because um i don't really focus more on my fiverr gig so i'll show you the steps i did to like get more ranks and everything i changed in my fiverr gig that actually got me to get my like second order on my fiverr gig so um the first thing i'll actually tell you to do is don't use clickbait don't use clickbait on your gigs whatever you are offering try to put it there if you are giving them only one image try to put like you are only giving them one image and put it in your gig image that you are actually giving them only one image and there is actually um plans there in your basic you can put one in your premium like you can name your plan any any you can give your plan any name you want so don't try to use clickbait to attract people because if you actually do that you attract people that are not really interested in what you are doing and they will like be disappointed in whatever you are the, um, offering and actually leads to like a bad review on fiverr and if you actually start getting bad reviews from your from your like first gig then it doesn't give a good impression for fiverr that yeah this um this person actually is a good person to be promoting so um what i'll actually tell you to do is don't use clickbait whatever you're offering try to put it there like you're offering this put it there that this is what you're offering if you actually have people that are actually looking for what you're doing then you actually get what you what you post second one is the number of images in your gig before um you can post the um, gig you have to like put a minimum of um, two images and maximum of three so what you can do is put your best work at the front at the like first one and don't compile like five um, images or five works in a more in the front row put, put your best one that you know like this is the best work i've ever done in the front like that's the only one you put there the second one to like put your second second best one there and um like the third um image put like all the remaining images um all the remaining gigs you've done or all the remaining projects you've done in the past put them together in the third image don't if you have like five best work don't put all the five there just put one that you know like yeah this is the best one i've done just only one in the front and the second one will be like the um, second best one and the third image you are going to use is like the combination of all the gigs you've done because if people are actually looking at what you are doing they will be like wow this is the first um, gig and the second one then the third one will show like all the images that are on the other work you've done put them at the third one because that's what i did when i started also i combined all my like all the works i've done i added in the first gig but people will be like oh, yeah uh, yeah i i know what you've done but what's this i don't really understand like what's your best work and what's the one you've done like you, you are really proud of so i changed everything i removed all the images that i know like i'm just putting like five images in one gig you know so i changed everything to like only one one gig for one image so if you have like more like more pictures just create new extra gigs for it Yeah, you must actually show your result also. If you are actually doing um, a, a photo manipulation gig that requires a before and after to uh, like maybe removing the background or enhancing a photo, make sure you put like the before of the photo and the after of the photo in the gig you are uploading because it, sh it gives the buyer like, okay, this guy knows exactly what um, he's doing and yeah, this is exactly the kind of gig I'm looking for. But if you actually just put only the after, the person will actually see how the before actually looked like. They just saw the like the result. They don't know how it looked like before. So yeah, the gig you are actually uploading, make sure you put your before and your after work there. Make sure you also name your file 
your image file you're uploading like if you're uploading your gig image make sure you name it put the name of for your the service you're offering if you are doing a photo manipulation put photo manipulation on fiverr for, as the email as the name of the image you're uploading to fiverr because it also it's also helps with um seo optimization because if people actually search for photo manipulation on google like maybe the person doesn't know about fiverr before and they search for photo manipulation on google fiverr can also like help you with the search engine search engine optimization and like show your gig image on fiverr so if your gig image is actually really optimized to what the person is actually look, looking for they might click on the image and be like move them to fiverr and be like accept your gig and buy something for you from the first time and they will like get to know fiverr through you or like get to know your gig through fiverr so whatever you are doing make sure your image as a good name don't just put a random name like like five or five one two three you know you know the way you also the way you always upload your image so make sure the image you're uploading as the name of the gig you're often like photo manipulation for fiverr as the name of the gig you're uploading to fiverr And the last one is always use mockups. This is a little bit the same as sh- um, showing the before and after, but uh, because this one means like you show them how the work will exactly look like. Maybe you are designing social media banners. You can screenshot like an Instagram page, then pull some of your gigs that you've done, then mock it up with like an an, an image of a phone with guys on instagram like put like let, let them let them see how the work will look like on instagram because that's exactly what they want they want their gig to look nice on instagram and they are promoting like social media or something social media stuff so try to um, actually always do that and show them how it will actually look like not like before and after this one is a little bit different from before and after it's just like showing them how the finished work will look like so make sure your gig image always have what the um, gig you're offering actually how it will look like exactly when you are done with the job so if you are designing a social media banner screenshot like an instagram page or facebook page or wherever you know that you actually upload the image to and show them how like this how it will look like on the instagram or on the facebook that you are going to post it on it gives them a good impression like okay i'm actually getting a quality work and this person actually knows what they are doing so those are my top tips for like improving my fiber gigs and if you want me to like analyze your gigs or check how um, your gig is doing you can leave your comment below and i'll send you a link to my instagram where we can just chat and tell you what to do and how to optimize your page Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. This motivates me to post more videos and, you know, to be frequent more and giving you tips like this and maybe improving my own channel also. So thank you. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Bye.